हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप आप सभी का प्रिपरेशन बहुत अच्छे से चल रहा है तो मेरा नाम है गिरीश और मैं लेके आ रहा हूँ आप सभी के लिए प्रॉब्लम्स का रिवीजन सीरीज एंड इस रिवीजन सीरीज में हम कवर कर रहे हैं हमारे लास्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर का साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी के रिलेटेड करंट अफेयर्स तो वट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग फॉर एस टू डू बिफोर द एग्जामिनेशन द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग फॉर एस टू डू बिफोर द एग्जामिनेशन इज टेस्ट कंटिन्यूसली इवन दो यू हैव एंट रेड मच इवन दो यू हैवेंट कवर्ड एवरी थिंग जस्ट टेस्ट योर सेल्फ you know testing yourself will make you it will will give you con- enough confidence for you to go into the exam it will also you know it is also a learning process for you you will learn new things when you test yourself so is ke liye what you have to do is daily daily you have to divide your time in such a way that you give equal weightage to your revision as well as the tests so testing yourself is very much important and also in the exam one more thing important thing is you just have to guess intelligently in the exam but for that intelligent guessing you need to have understanding of all the things that are there in another lecture i'll cover how to guess how to do this intelligent guessing that will be a different lecture altogether you know so just make sure that even if you don't know a question in the exam just read the question and try to analyze it try to understand every point there will be some more other clue in all the statements because these days the statement of questions are being asked more so even if you don't know that topic just try to analyze just try to understand all the statements there you will find some more the other clue if a question is difficult it is difficult for everyone so there's no need to panic okay that's how you have to approach in the exam even you know you just practice all these things even in the test when you practice all these things in the test in the final exam it will become very easy for you okay तो चलिए हम हमारे रिवीजन सीरीज से शुरू करते हैं तो हम कवर कर रहे हैं डिजीजेस हेल्थ एंड मेडिसिन से तो इसमें आज हम कवर कर रहे हैं चंदीपुर वायरस के बारे में उसके बाद वी विल टॉक अबाउट मिजल्स आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द नॉन न्यूमेटिक एंटी शॉक गार्मेंट्स आफ्टर दैट हम बात करते हैं न्यू एंटी ट्यूबर ड्रग के बारे में वी विल टॉक अबाउट सेरिसन वी विल टॉक अबाउट हिच वन एंड वन वायरस वाइट वॉज न्यूज आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट हेपेटाइटिस बीम एंड फाइनली यू विल सी द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कार्टरिज बेस्ड न्यूक्लियर एसिड एम्पलीफिकेशन जस्ट वॉट इज दिस ऑल अबाउट हम देखते हैं इन सभी चीज़ों के बारे में तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं फर्स्ट सो फर्स्ट चांदीपुर वायरस चांदीपुर वायरस वाई इट वॉज इन न्यूज रिसेंटली इट वॉज डिस्कवर्ड सो दैट्स वाई इट वॉज इन इट इट वॉज डिस्कवर्ड इन गुजरात सो दैट्स वाई दिस वॉज इन न्यूज फर्स्ट चांदीपुर वायरस हैज़ बीन डिस्कवर्ड इन अ विलेज इन महाराष्ट्र इट वॉज फर्स्ट डिस्कवर्ड इन अ विलेज इन महाराष्ट्र सो इट्स अ वैक्टर इट्स इट्स लाइकली द वैक्टर इज कैरियर ऑफ द वायरस इज अ फीमेल फिलोबोटोमाइन सैनफ्लाई फी फीमे फिलोबोटोमाइन सैनफ्लाई सो दिस इज द कैरियर ऑफ दैट वायरस इट वॉज फाउंड ऑल्सो इन सेनेगल एंड नाइजीरिया अपार्ट फ्रॉम इंडिया अपार्ट फ्रॉम इंडिया दीज आर द ट्रॉपिकल कंट्रीज यू कैन सेम सो दैट्स इट इज फाउंड इवन देयर ऑल्सो इट कॉज इन्फ्लेमेशन इन द ब्रेन एंड प्रोग्रेस रैपिडली फ्रॉम एन इन्फ्लुएंजा लाइक इलनेस टू कोमा एंड इवन डेथ सो इट्स अ वेरी डेंजरस वन सो रिसेंटली टू डिस्कवर्ड इन गुजरात चांदीपुर वायरस first it was discovered in maharashtra in a village in maharashtra it is it is carried by female philobotamine sandfly okay remember these things these are the important ones which you have to keep in note of next one the measles so who the world health organization recently discovered or sorry it recently it has declared sri lanka as measles free so as you can see it has declared it has declared that the deadly childhood infection has been eliminated from sri lanka so who recently declared which country sri lanka measles free next one non pneumatic anti shock garment it is a first aid device used to stabilize women who are suffering from obstetric hemorrhage and shock so women who are su- who are suffering from obstetric hemorrhage and shock it's a first aid device which which actually what it does it decreases the blood loss recover women from the shock and keep them alive until the medical treat until the medical aid is received okay so non pneumatic anti shock garment is a is a is a first aid kit for the obstetric hemorrhage and shock patients it's a first aid kit next one the new anti tuberculosis drug so us food and drug administration of dia has approved a new drug pretomyonide for the treatment of drug resistant tuberculosis so recent in the recent years we have seen in news about the drug resistant multi drug resistant tuberculosis mdr tb and xdr tb these are the multi drug resistant so the tuberculosis virus has become resistant to the drugs which are available in the market and so 
a new new type of drugs has to be introduced so that we will be able to tackle these diseases much more effectively okay so recently the pritomanid pritomanid so this was approved by the us food and drug administration pritomanid next one sericin sericin is a protein produced by the silkworms it's a silk protein which is known to possess the antioxidant and other medical medicinal properties so this protein which is produced by the silk forms it has some of the some of the antioxidant and medicinal properties this could be used for the protection from oxidative damage edema erythema sunburn premature aging wrinkling and skin cancer so this protein has a lot of advantages okay this is produced by the silk forms it possesses antioxidant and medicinal properties remember produced from silkworms sericin is produced from silkworms next one the h1n1 so h1n1 is nothing but swine flu it is swine flu there is another virus h5n1 which is nothing but this h5n1 n1 is bird flu so h1n1 is swine flu so h5n1 is bird flu okay so recently five judges of the supreme court has been infected by this swine flu which is which is caused by h1n1 virus so this is also called as pig influenza or hog flu the influenza h1n1 is a subtype of influenza a virus that is most common cause for the human influenza so maharashtra has the highest toll okay and rajasthan is the worst hit in 2019 so unlike in the temperate countries where peak influenza activity is recorded in winters in the tropical and subtropic countries the primary peak of influenza activity is during the monsoon so monsoon is very key is in the tropical region and subtropical regions okay next one hepatitis b so on september 3rd last year in 2019 bangladesh bhutan nepal and thailand became the first four countries in the world health organization southeast asia region first four countries in world health organization southeast asia region to successfully control the hepatitis b so what are the countries bangladesh bhutan nepal and thailand these are the first four countries to successfully control hepatitis b the virus is said to be controlled when the disease prevalence is reduced to less than 1% among the children less than 5 years of age so they have controlled successfully controlled this hepatitis b the four countries are bangladesh bhutan nepal and thailand next one detection of cartridge based nucleic acids amplification test it's a revolutionary rapid molecular test which simultaneously detects mycobacterium tuberculosis and reforms in drug resistance so it's a revolution it's a rapid molecular test okay so this is fully it's a fully automated and provide results within 2 hours so it's a very efficient and very you know it's it's a it's a fast test where it gives results very far in a fast manner it's a highly sensitive diagnostic tool and can be used in remote and rural areas without any sophisticated infrastructure and specialized training so this is to identify the tuberculosis and rampas and drug resistance So as i told you already in the past few years the resistance to tuberculosis has been increased the drug resistant uh, you know the the tuberculosis virus they became resistant to the available drugs and this can be this is a rapid molecular test the cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test okay so now let's revise what we have studied so far first we have seen chandipur virus it was recently found in gujarat okay so that's why this was news it it was first discovered in maharashtra okay apart from india it is found in senegal and nigeria and south african countries it is caused by a sand fly next one measles why this was in news this was in news because recently who has declared sri lanka sri lanka measles free sri lanka has been declared measles free next is non pneumatic anti shock garment this is to treat the patients or you can say this is to this is for the patients who suffer from obstetric hemorrhage and shock it is a first aid kit for them before the medical aid reaches next we have seen and the new anti tuberculosis drug a new anti tuberculosis drug as the as the tuberculosis has become resistant to the uh, drugs which are available the xdr tb and the mdr tb so for that a new drug has been approved by the food and drug administration of united states and the drug is pretemnoid okay so this is a new drug next is sericin sericin is a protein it's a protein which which actually is produced by silkworms 
and it has very it has many antioxidant and medicinal properties okay that's why this was the news next h1n1 virus it's spine flu so recently supreme court judges has been infected by this h1n1 virus as i told you h5n1 is bird flu h1n1 is it is yes spine flu okay next hepatitis b so four countries from south asia the bangladesh bhutan nepal and thailand they have become the first four countries in south asia to control the hepatitis b so a disease is said to be controlled if it if it is being brought to about one percent of the people born or you can say one person one percent of the children who are from zero to five years if only one percent have this disease then it is said to be controlled next cartridge based nucleic amplification test has been introduced in order to det detect the tuberculosis in a much faster rate so that this in this new test is very helpful in the regions which it doesn't which it does not have any sophisticated infrastructure so the cartridge based nucleic amplification test is to detect the tuberculosis okay so that's it friends in this lecture i'll see you again in the next lecture till then keep studying and stay tuned jai hind